subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. You spoke about dark matter. Um, quickly, if you could explain what dark matter is. Again, we've done it in the first astrophysics podcast we had done with you. But if you could quickly explain dark matter, but also explain what you went through over the 10 years of just studying one subject, what happened in your mind? What did you learn about the universe? What do you learn about the nature of existence? So dark matter is one of the missing components of the universe. If we observe the universe out there, I, I'll make a long story short and say that what we observe, all the stars, galaxies, all the light, all the nebulae, all the dust clouds, it's about 4% of the actual universe. 96% approximately is dark. We don't know what it is. Out of this 96%, about 20, 23% is what we call dark matter. It is some form of matter that interacts only gravitationally. You can't, it is not visible, mm. but you can, you can sense its gravitational uh, impact, mm. right? And there is something even more mysterious, about 75% roughly, which is dark energy. And it is something that is causing the expansion of the universe, not just the expansion, but the accelerating expansion of the universe. Mm -hmm. And we can see the effect of that. And this seems to be the major component of the missing mass energy of the universe. Mm -hmm. So we have not the foggiest clue of what that is. Dark matter, we still can guess that it's some kind of particle that interacts only gravitationally. Mm -hmm. But dark energy, is it seems to be some form of ref repulsive gravity that causes space-time to expand and create itself. Mm -hmm. So that is what these concepts are. They do exist. We know that because we have now experimental evidence of the existence of these, uh, these things. Mm -hmm.